How do you see everyone during a Zoom meeting but only record yourself? This is a question I've gotten from a surprising number of people who are teaching online fitness classes like yoga, where during the live class they would like to be able to see all of the students, but for privacy reasons they don't want to record the students, they only want the instructor to show up in the recording. In this video, I will show you two different ways you can do that. First, let's briefly cover how you can see everyone. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I have a ton of other tutorials about using Zoom and the various view and meeting controls, but very quickly, if you want to see everyone, you want to make sure you are in gallery view, which is what I have here. This shows all of the meeting participants in equal size thumbnails. So normally, if you are a teacher and you would like to see all of your students, this is the view you would use. If you are a student taking a class and you care more about seeing the teacher and don't care so much about seeing the other students, then you would want to switch to speaker view, which you can do by clicking the view button in the upper right here and selecting speaker view. It's then going to show one person larger than everybody else. Now, there are different ways to control who shows up here in this larger view. Again, I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you'd like to learn about that, check out the playlist in the description below this video. So, assuming you are the host, you're teaching a class, you want to be able to see all your students, you want to be in gallery view, but if you only want to record yourself, that creates a problem, because by default, if you record the meeting from within Zoom while you're in gallery view, as you can see in this screenshot from my other video, What Gets Recorded in Zoom, the recording is also going to show gallery view, meaning it is going to show all of your students and not just you. If you record in speaker view, then you will be the only one who shows up in the recording, but again, as you can see in this screenshot from the other video, your students are then only shown in these tiny thumbnails across the top. So if you have a big class, you won't even be able to see all the students. And again, especially if you are teaching a fitness class and you need to see what your students are physically doing on screen, you would like to see bigger pictures of them and not just these really tiny little thumbnails. So how do you get around that? There are two different ways to do this, one of which requires a paid Zoom Pro account. You cannot do this with a free account. If you go to your Zoom account settings at zoom.us in a web browser, click settings on the left, then click recording on the top. Under cloud recording, you should see a checkbox for record active speaker, gallery view, and shared screen separately. Now, if you have Zoom through work or school, this option might be disabled for you at the admin level, as you can see is the case for me here. I do not actually have the option to check that box. However, if you have your own Zoom Pro account, you should be able to check this box for cloud recording, which will then give you separate files for the speaker and the gallery view. So for example, if you want to record a class and then only post the speaker view recording for your class later, you can do that. If recording these students in gallery view is still a privacy concern, you can delete this recording and make sure you never post it publicly anywhere. So the downside there is that you only get one gigabyte of cloud recording with a Zoom Pro account, and that will probably fill up pretty quickly if you are recording a lot of meetings. However, if you plan to post your classes somewhere else with unlimited storage like YouTube, you can simply delete your Zoom cloud recordings after you've downloaded them to upload somewhere else. Now the other option here does not require a Zoom Pro account, but it requires two monitors. Zoom has a dual monitor mode that will allow you to display the active speaker on one monitor and the gallery view on another monitor. You can see that here in a screenshot from one of my other videos. Now what exactly gets recorded in dual monitor mode can get a little confusing, especially when we start talking about the Zoom pin and spotlight features. However, thankfully, in this case, we don't care because the good news is it will just record one person. Even though you have gallery view displayed on that second monitor, it isn't going to record gallery view. I am not going to reproduce all of that in this video. I have an entire separate video that is all about what gets recorded in Zoom dual monitor mode. So if you would rather do dual monitors instead of the cloud recording thing, you can check out that video in the description below this one. So that is all for now. If you think you know of other ways to do this or that I got something wrong in this video, please let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have a question or a suggestion for another tutorial, I cannot promise I will get to everything, but I will do my best to get back to you. Go ahead and leave a comment below the video. Thank you.